Tomorrow, the Wolf of Wall Street movie opens in theaters nationwide. And while Hollywood's focused on bashing the rich, have you seen what one mysterious rich guy's been doing? Take a look at this. A $10,000 tip left with the stamp, quote, tips for Jesus. So who says the rich aren't doing their part to help those in need? Father Robert Sirico is with the Acton Institute. Father, Americans, thank you. For, by the way, Merry Christmas. Americans are very, very generous people, aren't we? Well, yes, you know, this is the most philanthropic time of the year, and even all of the purchasing that's going on right now, most of that's being given away to other people as well. So it, it is an incredible uh, tradition of generosity in this country. Um, Father, we are talking a little bit about how much Americans actually give away. Um, some of the numbers that we came up with, $316 billion in 2012 alone, that's somewhere around 2, two to 2.5% two of the GDP. That's quite a bit, without even being asked to do that, right? You know, this is a historical trade as well. Alex de Tocqueville, when he came to this country in about 1820, uh, saw this kind of American organization and philanthropy and was quite struck with it even back then. So, yeah, it's a great tradition, and I, I wish it was a higher number. Right. Um, now, let's talk a little bit about what we, we kind of entered the segment on. Um, tips for Jesus. There's a, an anonymous donor. Mm -hmm. Some people think they know who he is, but he, he, sta he or she stamps tips for Jesus on a check, and then we'll leave sometimes a 5000 a 7000 or a $10,000 tip on a, on a $100 or $200 tab, whether it's a restaurant or a bar. Your thoughts, sir? Well, you know, I, I suspect this is more than one person just because of the geography of the thing. When you lay out the locations of the tips and the dates, it seems like it's all over the place. And I think what's happening is that somebody's inspiring a movement of generosity for uh, Jesus. And uh, I think that's a great thing as well, especially for uh, workers in restaurants. My mom was a waitress for many years, and uh, I know she worked for those tips. Sure, they're very hardworking people. I love this idea. Um, and and when we uh, when we see this happen, does it kind of grow upon itself? It's like a snowball. Do they get bigger and bigger? Do more people get involved? Uh, you know, it could very well be that you know that example has sparked other examples, and people are doing all kinds of things. I know that in my parish alone, we collected thousands of gifts for for kids. Uh, people are doing things like that very creatively. All right, Father, before we go, we, we also entered into the segment where we talked about the Wolf of Wall Street and some of the other Hollywood yes. elites. They have a tendency to be anti-capitalism. They have a tendency, to, uh, it, it, you know, it's kind of striking, especially when they themselves make so much money with what they do. Yeah. They're ruthless competitors, and yet they don't want to see ruthless competitors. They, they constantly are condemning uh, their own uh, success. And while I'm sure there are examples like this Wolf of Wall Street uh, that are real, there are a lot of very hardworking people. I guess it's just not the stuff of great drama to just show a guy who goes to work every day, in and day in and day out, and supports his family and uh, makes for business. But... Uh, that's not a doesn't sell in Hollywood. Uh, uh, very often these movies don't make money either. All right, Father, we're going to leave it there. Father Sirico, thank you so much. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas to you.